Hey everybody, this is what I was living at, like an animal, an organization called Common Ground, a guy named Chris, wonderful guy, got a master in social work, got me hooked up with this place called Volunteers of America, stayed there about a month, then I complained about abuses by a Veterans Administration staffer. And guess what? They put me in an ambulance just like this. After they got the police. And the police said I didn't do anything wrong by airing these shows on YouTube of evidence against Charmaine McPherson at the Bronx VA, James J. Peters Medical Center. Who works in conjunction with Mount Sinai Hospital. And they need for the Mount Sinai Hospital doctors to get a lot of practice. So they use veterans. I was one of the guinea pigs. I was locked up for seven days. Good morning. How are you doing? I was locked up for seven days. I got about maybe an hour, if that much, of actual contact with a psychiatrist. And then I suddenly got a diagnosis of being bipolar and I I had no effects of anything. I don't take any medication. And I'm still the normal guy that I was. That would tend to amount to abuse and misuse of mental hygiene laws against the poor, against the homeless. It was punishment. And sending me back out in the street because I complained about a Veterans Administration staffer who's a supervisor who's been abusing her power and torturing homeless veterans at a VA funded facility. Those are civil rights violations when you're torturing me and collecting federal funds. You can't collect federal funds. But you have a medical director by the name of Julia Golia, who I reported this to after I reported the patient rep after I reported it to Father Baptiste, my primary care physician, or nurse, or whatever she is. What is this? And when you try to talk to these people at these VA staffers, you got a bunch of bloodline freaking morons, cretin freaking imbeciles, or whatever the hell that you have, that they're always cutting you short. You can't give up an answer, a complete answer to anything. Alma did it up on Ward 6B, everybody, all of you guys, except for two people, two nurses. That was in the, on the first floor outpatient clinic. One of them's a veteran, the other one I just, by, when she came to visit me on Ward 6B, or at least I don't know, that's when I knew her name was Regina. She had been, you know, doing stuff, do I care? I'm not looking for any interpersonal relationships. <laughs> and this is the second time you did that Veterans Administration. Second time. Every single Veterans Administration hospital that I've been to in the New York Harbor area have done me wrong. Manhattan. Manhattan VA, you see this finger that can't move? That's yours. Brooklyn VA, you locked me up for three days for Congress and Meeks, tried to shut me up. The district attorney tried to shut me up permanently to the detective he's had that was hunting for me in the snatch and grab to a death kill hit. They're in court. Two million dollars. Uh, Dr. Dr. Boykin. Dr. Boykin, we sat, we talked together. I gave you the flyers. You told me that you'd have somebody videotape my documentary that aired on TV about the Hangman's Noose attack that exposed the second Hangman's Noose attack on, in your facility. And you're a black guy. And you're covering that up. Not good, not good, not good. So hopefully the VA Inspector General can call you guys in together because when it was exposed by Aza Jekta, a former nurse 
in the St. Albans VA that went to the Brooklyn VA and confronted Mike Mooney and Dr. Merza and said, you're not supposed to be prescribing this medication on an outpatient basis in New York State. It's illegal. They stopped it and gave me a referral to the FBI, but it was a bogus referral to the FBI. Somebody's in trouble. And it's not me. I don't have to take, I'm not taking on the medication. I don't need no psychotherapy. I'm a whistleblower who will litigate. That can make some people pretty angry. I don't care. <laughs> okay, you see? How you doing? See, I'm not incapacitated in a wheelchair. I'm not weak. I'm not defenseless. I might be poor. I might be broke, but I'm not poor because my education, my currency, the money's right here. I'll see you in court soon. Bye-bye.